All right, I'd like to show how to pose a ZBrush character without needing to know how to do any rigging and do it basically super fast. I'm gonna be using Maya, Mixamo, and ZBrush. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. If I go to Lightbox, what I did is I just double clicked on the Demo Soldier here. And so if you wanna follow along, you can do that as well. And here he is. Um, I can see the reason that I picked the Demo Soldier is because he has a lot of subtools, as I can see here. Um, and the technique that I'm going to show is going to be really easy if it's just one kind of mesh. But if it's a lot of subtools, there's an extra kind of trick involved. So I kind of wanted to show that. So right now, this guy is kind of a boring, you know, A pose. What's good about that is that when you're sculpting, you can sculpt symmetrically. But let's say if we wanted to have this guy like in a running pose or something a little bit more interesting to look at. Um, and we didn't want to lose all of our high-end sculpting detail. Okay, that's another thing that I want to address. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, I want to get the character to Maya. And I want to get all of these subtools to Maya. And it could take, you know, could take a lot of time to do kind of one at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Go Z button okay and if I go to preferences go Z um, if it's not working or if it's you're doing it for the first time you might have to and you know tell it the path to Maya or whatever program that you want to use you can see here's the different ones that it's compatible with right now um, and that's it okay so once you have that ready and I do have a video of go Z if you need to see that um, in a little bit more in depth but what I'm going to do right now is just hit all. And what that's going to do is it's going to hit uh, take all of the subtools for this guy, and it's going to send it to Maya. So currently I don't have Maya open, but what it's going to do is it's going to automatically launch Maya. It's automatically going to put all those subtools into Maya, Whoop. and then I'm going to uh, once again it launch Maya, put all those subtools in there. Here it is. Boom. Okay, and I can see that my guy is sitting whoop, right there. So I'm just kind of letting it load. There we go. And I promised there was no, you know, kind of special tricks that I was clicking on. It was just, okay, here he is. Um, and maybe what I'll do is just take him. Um, well, I'll, I think I'll just leave him alone right here. Okay, I can see that he has all the individual sub tools. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to go to Mesh Combine. So now he's simply one mesh and then I'm going to go File, Export Selection and I'm going to save him as OBJ just on the desktop. I'm going to call this uh, OBJ. OBJ Soldier. Okay, great. Now I'm going to go to a program called Mixamo. So Mixamo, M-I-X-A-M-O dot com, is a free software by Adobe. Okay, and now I can go to, I. you'd have to log in. Um, so if it's the first time, you might have to set up an account, but it's free and you can log in. Now I'm going to go to uh, Browse Characters. Okay, and it might look like something like this. Now, they have a lot of characters that you can choose from, okay? They also have a lot of animations that you can choose from. So let's say this character here, if I clicked on any, any of these, he would automatically start doing this, okay? And now, I don't want to use their characters. I want my own character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say upload a character. And now you can see it accepts FBX, OBJ, or zip. I'm going to go here to select. Here he is, open. Okay, great. Uh, he's there, and what it's saying is, ideally, you know, we'd want him in T-pose, kind of facing the camera. I'll go ahead and hit next. And now I'm going to help it out. Okay, this is where his chin is, his wrist. You can see that um, I'm using symmetry, so if you had kind of an asymmetrical character, I guess you could turn that off. And I think, obviously, this is going to work on you know, kind of bipedal humanoid characters the best. 
okay? Now, it's going to process, and it says it could take up to two minutes to kind of rig this thing, and I'm okay with that. If you've ever done any rigging, you know how long that process can take. Um, once it's done, we'll instantly see our character moving around, and then we can apply any motion, so animation to this guy. But for ZBrush, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a pose to him. Okay, hey, there we go. So he's kind of doing a stress test right now, meaning that he's kind of like looking around. We can see that all of his fingers are working and all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Um, next, there we go. Okay, he's automatically doing the, the pose that we have. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and I'm going to type in Pose. And I can see that here's a Run Pose. There we go. And that's... That's what I want. Okay, something like that. I mean, you can see there's tons of different things, animation, poses, whatever you want. But I'm going to go ahead and download this. And I can say FBX with skin, download. And keyframe, yeah, so I, I don't really need, obviously there's no animation. I'm just going to hit download though. And here it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, drag that onto my desktop. Or actually, I could go in here. I'm just going to go File, New Scene. And then if I, um, I can see here, I could just drag Mail local, Locomotion Pose in here. And hey, voila, there he is. OK. Now what's cool about this, if I go to Shading, X-ray Joins, he has a skeleton in there. And by the way, if your skeleton is too big or too small, I can always go into um, display animation joint size and then I can make this bigger or smaller here. Okay, But what's neat about this is that he is fully rigged. That means that, um, well he's not, he doesn't have a control rig, but I can see that we can move him around so we can kind of uh, adjust the pose. I can see things like this, like he might not be weighted properly where it feels like his arm is kind of bending like, you know, rubber. Um, I might have to kind of re-sculpt some of that stuff in ZBrush, but I feel like I'm okay with that. But now the question becomes, how do I get this guy back in ZBrush? Um, because we've got a couple problems. One, he's all one object. And remember in ZBrush we had several, se several sub-tools. We also had high-end detail on the character. So here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to go like this. Mesh, separate. Now I can see that, hey, we're back to um, these. So I'm going to take his body, and I'm going to go, um, well, first of all, I think I'm going to create a folder on the desktop. New folder. That's called um, Soldier. OK. And then I can put this guy in here. So if I say File, Export, Selection. Now I can go in here. I'm going to call this um, Body and Export Selection. Now if I go back to ZBrush, OK, so now the trick is to kind of override these with the new one. So for example, I'm going to select the body. And I'm just going to go to Import, and I'll go to Body. And I can see that it looks kind of weird. It was out of place a little bit. But what's happening here is if I come down here to Geometry, if I divide this up, I can see that all of the sculpting detail is still there, Okay, which is really cool. And then when I import these other ones, so now if I go to Shirt, and then I just go here to Import, Shirt. It should just jump to the right place. I'll go to Vest, Import, and then here's his backpack, Import. And once again, all of these, if they had subdivisions on prior, all of that subdivision work will be there. So really cool. And I can just go here, All High, and now I can see all of that detail. Uh, so I would have to just export each one of those kind of one at a time. And then I could come in here 
And now there's going to be some problem areas like this. Okay, that might not might have not been perfect um, on the translation. So you might have to kind of manually sculpt that, but at least you're getting it into a quick pose. I mean, in a matter of minutes instead of hours or even days to rig this thing. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions, leave them below. And for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe.